first thing you need to know is that this star floating on your right hand will be your is your pointer. That's what you're going to use. It's like a cursor. So everything you do is based on that. You don't stick your controller through the buttons or anything. You just point your cursor at the button and then uh, press your activation button. Now on the Oculus, the activation button for menu items is the A button. On the Vive, it's going to be pressing down on the trackpad. That's button one. And then button two on the Vive is up on the trackpad, and on the Oculus it would be B, now on the, the right-hand button two. So when I say button one, I'm talking about A on the Oculus and down on the Vive. Now, start out, I recommend everybody start out in explore mode, just so you can get a hang of the camera controls before uh, trying to build anything. So first, when you go to explore, hover your cursor over that and press the activation button. Now the... What load, there's three different types of uh, ways to open files to, to look at. Your files here are ones that you have saved locally on your computer that you've built. You can hover over any of those and press the activation button to activate those. Now, when you first download this, you probably are not going to have anything right here. So to load from the, uh, from the web, the load next top diorama you can see is the B button. So when I press B, after a few moments it loads. This is a tabletop war game scenario that I threw together and finishes loading that. And then press B again and it'll load the next scene. So the camera controls work as follows. On your right hand, you just hold down the grip button. And while you're holding the grip button down, you can move the, the scene anywhere in three, three spaces. And where you grab the scene is wherever the pointer is. So if you grab it, right here. I guess that doesn't uh, change much in the view mode, but you can see where you're, where you're grabbing it is where you're pulling it around. Now also when you hold down the right button, you'll see that the context menus change. And that's the same with the left grip. If you hold down the left grip, you can see there's different, uh, those are the two shift commands. So left grip to change those options, right grip, and then it says left right to rotate and up down to zoom. So on the analog stick, while you're holding down the the right button. On the analog stick, pressing up will will zoom, and pressing down will zoom out. Now it zooms right to the point. So if, for example, if I want to get to the top of this tree, I hold the, the pointer above this tree, and I start zooming. And I will zoom right in to where the pointer was. Now if I don't, you know, if I zoom back out, and I want to zoom in right here by the cart, I'll put my pointer there, and I'll start to zoom in, and I'll zoom in right by the cart. So you can navigate the, the scene by pulling it around and dragging it, but you can also get where you want to go on larger scenes by just using the pointer and zooming to that point specifically. It's, once you get the hang of it, you can, you can really get around your scene quite fast. The rotation works the same way. If I've got my cursor right in the center of the world and I start rotating it, it'll rotate around the center of the world. However, if I want to rotate it around the corner of the world, it'll rotate around the corner right here if I've got the cursor there. So. Once you get the hang of the camera controls and looking at dioramas, um, you're ready to move on to the builder mode. Uh, for the last part of this tutorial, I'm also going to go over the, uh, the menu and how that works. So exit mode will get you back to the beginning. Um, you'll see here that the trigger will pick up and drop the, the menu. Um, and then we'll go into build mode and Pressing right, on, when you see that there's a second page, you can go to the next page by pressing right on the analog stick, and then back a page by pressing left. Um, if you go into Object Explorer, and you want to go back to the last page, you press the X button on your left hand. Again, this would be down on the Vive controllers. Or, sorry, Y. I know how to use my own controls. So it's Y, it's button two, so up on the Vive controller. So you go to Object Explorer, press up, it'll go back to this option. Go into Fantasy, High Quality Interiors, Interiors, Floor, and you're looking at the floor options, then you can press back to go to Pottery, and press right to cycle through those, press back to go to the last page, and so on and so forth. So um, for the most part, that's all you need to know to get around um, the, uh, the menus is left, right to change pages, um, back uh, button two or up 
will uh, take you back a page if there is a page to go back to. And exit mode will bring you back to the main menu screen where you can uh, pick up and drop the menu. Um, options loads a new window, back closes it. I'm going to start with a space scene and we're going to put in. I recommend starting with the smaller objects first and then working your way up. Um, so I'm going to put in a, a spaceship. Uh, let's go to James Lair. So before I pick up the object, I'm going to hold down the grip. I'm going to press right to scroll to the unlocked layer. This is again while holding down the left shift or grip button. Okay, so now I'm in the unlocked layer. I'm just going to start building. So as I pick something up, I pick it up with the A button and move it around in, in three dimensions any any position I want. Now, if I'm trying to get it this way, for example, and I'm, I don't want to like twist my hand, um, one thing you can do is use the trigger button to drop it, grab it from a different angle, and pick it up. So you just use the, the trigger button to pick up and drop. Now, if you use the A button, it will stamp a copy instead of just picking it up and dropping it. Now, if you've got too many of the object that you want, you need to delete something on your left hand, you press X to destroy the held object. So you can pick this up, destroy it, pick this up, destroy it, pick this up, destroy it, and that quickly. So I'm going to place a couple ships here, and then I'm going to go into my rocks, and I'm going to put in uh, an asteroid here. So again, you press A to pick it up. Now this one, it starts out kind of small you'll see and the reason it does that is everything is scaled based on the last object that you've placed so what you do is you hold down the grip button on your right hand and you'll see that you have the option to now my context menus aren't working why is it normally when you press down on the right grip the context menu would change and show you the controls for the shift menu which is pressing right to zoom left to, to zoom right to increase the scale, left to decrease the scale. Looks like that's another bug I've got to fix. So I'm going to hold down the grip button and I'm going to press right. I'm going to scale it up here until it's quite a large size and I'm going to drop it right there. And now I've got my, my scene with this. Now from the explore mode you can move the camera in the exact same way. Hold down the grip button as you move the camera around, up and down to zoom in, left and right to rotate it. So I'm going to zoom it out and now I've got my ship here, my rock here, and I'm going to go in and place a planet. So we'll use a storm planet and scale that up and drop a copy of it there. And then now I've got a ship with an asteroid and a planet and so on and so forth. So you just keep building uh, by adding in more objects, more objects, more objects. And uh, in the free mode, with the space scenes, the reason I go for that one is you can just move everything freely and just place it wherever you want it. And you know you can put it in no restrictions at all. So that's a good way to get started with the build mode. Um, once you've kind of got the hang of the camera controls and then just basically picking up and putting down objects quickly, Stamping copies, up, down to zoom, left, right to rotate, and that's about all you really need to know in order to build your first scene. Really, two buttons. You just, you know, press A to pick an object, stamp it, press, uh, go, and then navigate through your folder, and you just stamp objects around. So it's super simple uh, for the very basics of building a scene. So. I'll end uh, this video here. Really easy scene to make. Uh, space scenes are just great. They look awesome and they take really no effort at all. So you can just get in here and you can put together a uh, space scene, put some space stations and ships and planets and asteroids and rocks and, you know, just go nuts with the, the space stuff. And it's just super, super simple. In the next video, I'll go over the, uh, the other modes, which are grid mode and rotation lock. And these are going to help you with uh, scenes. These are going to help a lot with every other type of scene. You're going to want to use these uh, these two modes. Again, to switch modes, just hold down the left trigger and you just 